Hi, welcome to this week's Sim Racing News Roundup. And kicking things off this week, we've had the first um, teaser of gameplay for the upcoming World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. Um, so this is where Monster Games, who've now been bought by iRacing, are putting out their first collaborative title here. Um, now, the first thing to be 100% sure here is this is not sitting on the iRacing platform, um, and that's clearly indicated by the fact that it's not just coming to PC but it's also coming to consoles as well so this is most likely still going to be existing on the Unity engine because that's where Monster tend to stick their products and uh, we'll be using utilizing assets from iRacing uh, the one thing we do get from the trailer that we know is the fact that we will have um, more than just being perfectly honest the actual um, outlaw cars in here we're also going to have um, some different vehicles going on within there not a huge amount of news on it so far on what we're getting but we're going to get sprint cars late models and uh, street stock in there those are the ones i was searching my memory for me while rambling uh, we also get news that we're going to be getting a full gameplay trailer coming in August. Now, what to expect from World of Outlaws Dirt Racing? In all honesty, probably not the most detailed or nuanced sim ever. But I've got to be honest, the Monster Game stuff that they've put out on Unity in the past, whilst it's not by any stretch of the imagination the last word in sim racing um, nuance, they've actually been quite good entertaining little titles that do what they say on the tin reasonably well. And if they hit the right price point, there's no reason why this one can't do the same. So moving on from uh, World of Outlaws, we then have <coughs> Forza Horizon 5 has had a hotfix land. So this is mainly tidying up a few bits and pieces around the Hot Wheels expansion and other stuff. I will leave a link down below. It's uh, not much in it because it's a hotfix at the end of the day. We've also, uh, then speaking of that, got a, another patch for F122. So this is hitting patch 1.06, um, is now available. And this targets areas of just general patching, the two player career, audio, wheel integration, VR, and a few other bits and pieces as well. Uh, my favorite one on the patch notes is they've corrected Kevin Magnuson's eye color. Who knew they went into that level of detail? I never have thought to check that K-Mac had the correct eye colour, but there we go. Apparently he does now. We've then also had um, Donington Park release for a race room. So in this you get both uh, layouts for Donington Park. So the National and the Grand Prix circuit are included in it. It's £4.19, um, if my memory serves me correctly. Great track, two great layouts, and it's really good to see this joining race room. Um, I did on last week's one say, you know, it coming soon for race room can mean quite a few different things. Yet here we are a week later and it's been released, which is great news, so really good to see that. Uh, Gran Turismo 7 has also now hit update 1.19 and in this we've got three new cars. Um, so Maserati Spider 54, the Nissan Skyline Super Silhouette Group 5 car from 1984, which for some utterly bizarre reason has been put into their Group 3 category. I've got no idea why. I mean, I know they don't really have any other Group 5 cars, but it's not a Group 3 car. It really isn't. You know, that's kind of GT3-esque. It, it, it's not... No. Just no. It's wrong. Um, and then they've added in the Porsche 918 Spider as well. We've got another four menu books. Three have been added to the You Actually Have to Race and Do stuff. And two of them... Sorry, two have been added to that. And two have been added to the Extras menu where you've just got to collect cars for them. So it's worth going and having a look because you may have some rewards straight away for there. I did on both of those. I already have my Nissan Fair Lady Z or Z if you're American and Dodge Viper collection complete. Um, and there's a few new events that have been added to various locations and other bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, it's it's an update for Gran Turismo 7. 
there you go. Quick addition, I totally forgot that uh, Race League for PC came out on Early Access on Steam this week, so uh, I am going to be putting together a separate video with a first look at this, but this is an online um, title focused heavily on user-created tracks and multiplayer gaming that um, brings some interesting things to bear to the market, but as if you watch the review video uh, or the initial look video, you'll find out it's got a good number of problems that really is going to hamper adoption of it as an early access title if you ask me so yeah quick addition because i'd completely forgotten about this one sorry about that um and that's it for this week relatively quiet week what you've been watching i have had a chance to get back to some of the assetto corsa mod content and uh, we've gone Tarmac rallying here in the Czech Republic to be precise. So the actual track here is 17 um, and it's uh, three special stages that are closely related. It's about 11.4 kilometers in length so it's a good long um, stage in there and I'll leave the link down below because what I've also installed here is the 16k asset pack for this as well. So they're two separate links you install one and then the other which really does up the quality of this particular point-to-point um, -point stage and it's a really nice layout there's some good stuff on there and it just works really well um, it drives really well it's a nice point-to-point -point stage there and for that I've taken along a um, Group A Fiat Uno Turbo um, Mark 1 to Mark 2 on there and this is a nice little mod it's, it's nicely done the interior looks really good on it exterior is a little rougher but the interior looks really good on it looks the part and you have uh, three different setups on there with tarmac dirt and snow tires on there so if you're using it on dirt or snow and you switch on the advanced physics hey presto you got some good fun going on there so really nice couple of mods here and uh, rounding off this week's sim racing news roundup quite nicely so if you found this video useful please do hit the like button and if you want to see more content of this nature please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content gets uploaded thanks very much for watching take care bye